West Carteret's marching patriots are stepping high today. The high school band has been invited to perform at the Peach Bowl, and they're already practicing for the event. We had applied, as, as many bands do, and um, the Peach Bowl called and asked me, you know, what things we had won and what things we had done in the past few years, and I gave them a list as well as in our resume, and uh, they were thrilled. They accepted us right over the phone. It means a lot to all of us. It's a challenge and it's something that um, we've been looking forward to for a long time and we've really worked hard to get there. I think this is a great way to go out with my senior year because I've been working four years to get to this thing and we are going to rock when we get there. It has a goal to accomplish, and I think we're going to do it there. What's that goal? That goal is to be number one. I'm, I am proud as I can be. Um, this band has come a long way. I've been here about six or seven years, and each year I can see noticeable improvement. Um, last year we did a James Bond show and, and scored a high of 90. That's a school all-time high, and this year I think we may break the 90 mark. Go Patriots! Reflections is a special segment by Chief Photographer Brian Sibley, and you will see it every Friday right here on the Midday Edition. You can get a good deal on a new or used car almost anywhere. So why should you come to Parker and Moorhead City? Because you get more than a good deal. You get selection, Pontiacs, Oldsmobiles, Buicks, plus GMC trucks. You get the lowest possible price and highest trade-ins without high pressure. And right now, our entire inventory is available with the latest GMC factory rebates up to $1,000 or financing plans as low as 1.9% APR. Parker, Pontiac, Olds, Buick, GMC trucks, Highway 70 West, Moorhead City. Since 1947, more than a good deal, a good dealer. To the first possession of Jones Senior, they only had 31 yards rushing, and that's what I alluded to uh, earlier in the stats. That their one touchdown came in a long run, and after that, they really didn't have a lot of offense. Uh, but they did score, and that's what counts. Robert Reynolds has 16 carries so far for 59 yards in the first half of football. So. That's uh, what has been keeping the Patriots in the game, and uh, he's been the big gun so far. I'd like to thank Tom Doyle, our statistician, for keeping these stats for us and keeping us up to date on what's happening. I hope we get a good audio feed tonight for the uh, the Patriots. Uh, we brought a, a, an extra mic and tried to mic the sound. It's awful hard to mic a band from this position. But maybe you can get a feel for what they're doing as we uh, come in close and take a look at some of the marching Patriots. And uh, they're another group that has an outstanding booster support. If you look down on the sidelines, you see a lot of men and women with the uh, blue hats on. And they're supporting the marching Patriots, and they do it all the time. They volunteer their time. Some of them don't even have children in the band. You hear the crowd went reacting also. They really enjoy it. They respect these kids and the hard work that they do. West Carter Marching Patriots, folks. And they're putting on quite a halftime show here, but we're going to take a break so our crew can stretch their legs a little bit and get ready for the second half of football action right here on the high school football game of the week. We'll be right back for the start of the second half right after these messages. <laughs>
Looking good and feeling good go hand in hand. I work hard to be sure I look my best. And whether it's workout shoes or just good looking sports shoes, I depend on Johnson's Sports Corner. The staff at Johnson's makes sure I get the proper fit and style I need. I go by Johnson's regularly and you should too. That's Johnson Sports Corner in Moorhead City. And coming soon, the all new Johnson Sports Corner on Highway 70 West. Adds a certain spice to life. Oh, it certainly does. And Atlanta will soon hear the spice of Eastern Carolina. That's because the West Carteret High School Band will be playing in the Peach Bowl. But as News Center 9's Tom McQuaid reports, being invited to the Peach Bowl to play and getting there are two different things. Because we're number one. <laughs> 145 members of the West Carteret High School Band have worked hard all year, including the summer, to perfect their music. All the work has produced some solid results. First place in the Azalea Festival, high marks at an Invitational in Hillsboro, and now an invitation to the Peach Bowl in January. We want to do a Peach Bowl for a long time and uh, we've looked into several others and the Peach Bowl is pretty prestigious as far as we're concerned. It's also not a million miles away so it seemed logical. Um, we were real pleased that we applied and uh, got accepted. Um, I don't know how many bands applied but they did take 20 and we're glad to be the only one from North Carolina to make it into the Peach Bowl. An invitation to Atlanta and getting there are two different things. But thanks to the band boosters, this group is Atlanta bound. And members are also raising money, washing cars and selling food. Right now we're selling pizzas and we'll be selling oranges sometime soon. <laughs> First on their agenda in Atlanta is a band competition. Then the parade. Finally, a halftime show at the football game. Get your tickets early, because this group's going to shine. Tom McQuaid, News Center 9, Moorhead City. Hmm, that's a big band. Mm -hmm. oh, Peach Bowl. You bet. Brian. What? <laughs> January. Peach Bowl, yeah. Two teams will play in it after the season gets going. They'll decide who the two teams are, Very and then I'll good. pick the winner. I was going to say, no predictions yet, huh? I, I couldn't predict who will make it. What's us who would win it? How about a prediction for overnight and tomorrow? Oh, the Peach Bowl is far from the pits, I'll tell you that. Oh. <laughs> the tradition continues for 1987. For 15 years, BKS Electronics, your Radio Shack dealer, has offered the only complete line of advanced consumer electronics, including products like portable cassette players and an auto-dialing speakerphone with electronic directory and data display. And now, our most affordable PC-compatible computer ever, the Tandy 1000 at BKS Electronics in the Moorhead Plaza. We carry a complete line of Radio Shack products, and we're establishing a tradition of our own.
Grandpa, what you doing? Well, I'm sorting shrimp to take to Fisherman's Wharf. What for? Well, at Fisherman's Wharf, they take shrimp, well, just like this one, see? And they fry it up gold and brown. And then they serve it with chowder and coleslaw, hush puppies, fries. Uh, the shrimp special, they call it. It's the best kind of eating there is. Grandpa, let's go eat. <laughs> OK. The Museum of History, as a stained glass window was dedicated in memory of Diane Maria Donovan. Ms. Donovan's mother, Dorothy Donovan, commissioned the glass in honor of her daughter who died in a diving accident in 1984. Matt, good night. Head Michener for this 88 Ford Escort will sell for only $67.95. This 88 Ford Ranger pickup will sell for only $69.95. $500 rebates will be offered on select Ford model trucks and Bronco 2s and also the 88 Jeep Comanche pickup. These are just a few of the buys you'll find during the November clearance at Michener Ford Jeep Peugeot, the Carteret County dealership that needs you. There you go, they got the Macy's Parade 87 banner with them. Ladies and gentlemen, the East Carter at Mariner marching band. Wes Carteret Band Boosters and the band. And their king and queen will be coming in to view. You can see they've got some citrus fruit. I'll tell you what, it was good. If you didn't get some this year, you ought to surely get some next year. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Oh, got it. <laughs> Now, the West Carteret Band, Citrus King and Queen are just passing before you. Johnny King and Dana Robinson from West Carteret. Merry Christmas, everybody. There's Ann Rady. She's just going by now. The West Carteret cheerleaders come into view. Immediately following them, you see, ladies and gentlemen, the West Carteret. Marching Patriot Band will be appearing in the Peach Bowl on January the 2nd in Atlanta, Georgia. Let's listen.
Ross Carver marching Patriots under the direction, of course, of Matt Bottoms. into your picture are the JV cheerleaders from West Carteret. And now the instrument uh, truck, I believe. Well, yeah, that's what it says right on the side there. West Carteret, marching Patriots. I think he says only like 240 folks are going to be traveling down to Atlanta with this group. school marching band from Moorhead City wants to win the big one this weekend. 149 kids will hit the ground marching in Atlanta for the annual Peach Bowl band competition. And you'd better believe these kids want to win. This band is so terrific. You do not know how terrific this band is. I love this band to death. We here are so good. You guys just got to watch us. You won't be able to watch them this Saturday on television. Only a few stations will carry the syndicated game, none in our area. The band will know if they've been judged the best high school marching band there by game time, though. Win or lose, the director is proud of his squad. Representing North Carolina is, is a highlight, um, but giving the band a chance to compete nationally is also a highlight. I, um, I can't express how important this is to us. We, we've raised a lot of money. The community has been behind us 100% in what we've done, and uh, we just look forward to being down there and having a good time with it. Last Thanksgiving, cross-county rivals, the Marching Mariners, performed during the Macy's Parade. Of course, East and West Carteret High Schools aren't competing for the nation's limelight, or are they? How excited? Oh, you can't believe the excitement. Everybody is it very much excited to go to the Peach Bowl. Um, Macy's is one thing, but uh, that's a side there. We're gonna show, we're gonna show them how to really do it at the Peach Bowl. What you see here, of course, is just the warm up for the big event. These kids are hoping for warmer weather down there. For the news leader in Moorhead City, I'm Margaret Douglas. Are they excited? Go Wes Carteret. All right, they should be. See you tonight, 11 o'clock. Good night, everybody.